Please join us once again, ladies and gentlemen, for your favorite game show, 321. This week our theme is newcomers, and that means that we have five new acts to network television you'll be meeting later on in the program. But of course, you know, when you mention newcomers to most women, what do they think of straight away? Babies. It's true, isn't it? And what does she say, fellow, when the baby arrives? She says, well, I suppose you realize you've ruined my figure. <laughs> well, I just laid the foundation stone. I'm not responsible if the building collapses after this. That's what you say. And when you think of it, it's not too bad, is it, really? I mean, she gets family allowance for the baby until he's 16 years of age. That's over 3,000 quid. That's not bad for one night's work, is it? <laughs> what do you say, then? <laughs> what can you also say, though? When you, they never ever tell you that the baby's on the way, eh? They say things to you like, what would you say if we were going to have another mouth to feed? Your mother's coming to stay. <laughs> no, no, think of a, a little pink-faced, wrinkled-up, noisy bundle. Your mother's definitely coming to stay. <laughs> That's what you say. <laughs> You've had the same trouble. Here's somebody who comes to stay every week. He's a bit of an old hand this week. He's dressed up as a newcomer. That's our resident booby prize, my little friend, Dusty Bin. Here he is, down here. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes, Dusty. Look at that. It looks marvellous. But don't let him fool you, of course. He has to have his bin liner changed three times a day. If he's won, all our contestants get is a brand new bin. So without any further ado, let's get on and meet the people without whom we just couldn't do our show. Ladies and gentlemen, our contestants are right here. Roy and Chris Collins from Pulborough. Bob and Audrey Wyatt from Birmingham. Frank and Lynn Wavish from Plymouth. And our first couple tonight, we have Frank and Lynn Wavish, and you're from Plymouth down there in Devon. That's right. Good part of the world there. I like that, Frank. Now, there's a name I've never heard before. Wavish? Is, does that come from that area? I think it's a Cornish name. Wavish, yes. yes. I see. Mm -hmm. and, and, and what about, uh, what do you do for a living? What sort of a... I'm an agent for a large insurance company. Uh-huh. And do you work, Lynn, as well? Yes, I do. Housewife yeah. and a mum. What sort of children do you have? How many do you have? Two boys, age six and two. Yes. Can I give them a wave? Yeah, of course <laughs> you can. Well, if <laughs> Wavish can't you. give them a wave, <laughs> nobody <laughs> can, eh? Good. And do you do, you do any of your part-time work? Yes, I'm a, I'm a part-time staff nurse. Really? Yes, on a surgical ward. Really, that, that's uh, it's quite a big business, and uh, I think they yes. do a great job <laughs> at the National Health Service and the cuts they've had to fight. And yeah. you go door-to-door -door -door in your job, do you, Frank? That's right, yes. Uh-huh. I've got to be honest, I mean, if, if you came to my, my house selling insurance, I mean, uh, I wouldn't think of wavish, more signish. Yeah. <laughs> you, you're pretty good, you fellas, when yeah. it comes to that. And I, you're keen on fresh air too, is that right? Yes, Great. lots fitness? of it. Yes. And do you actually go to a fitness club? Yes, I do. Really? Yes, Women's League of Health and Beauty. Women's League of Health and Beauty. <laughs> I go to a men's health club and, it, and that's just watching the Women's Health of League and Beauty. <laughs> Give them a round of applause, make them feel happy. Glad you're with us, good luck. Good luck. Right. Roy and Chris Collins from Paulborough, part of the world I know, West Sussex. And uh, you're an aerial rigger. You mean TV aerials, Roy? That's yeah? right. Yeah? And uh, I'll bet you've got some stories to tell about those sort of things, haven't you? Well, yeah, there was one occasion when the, the winds were pretty strong. And I was on the roof doing the aerial. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden there was an almighty crash. I looked round and the ladder had disappeared <laughs> from the side of the wall. <laughs> and uh, the lady and gentleman I was working for were pensioners. And uh, a little while after he'd heard the crash, he came out of the house. And he looked up, didn't expect to see me there, but he looked up and I was on the roof and he said, it's all right, I'll go and get my neighbour. Well, he went round and knocked on his neighbour's door and when the neighbour came out, he was older than he was. <laughs> so, uh, between the three of them, though, they managed to get it back. <laughs> I like this. You two met, actually, uh, while well, you were both blue coats, yes? That's right. Yes, at a certain holiday camp. Uh-huh. And did you enjoy that sort of work? Oh, very much. You loved so. it? Yes. Yeah, I, I started in holiday camps with the red coats, the other people. Right. And are you okay at holiday camps as long as you remember three things? Faith, hope and shall he keep. <laughs> That's right. have any trouble other than that, if give them a round of applause. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck. Bob and Audrey. Bob and Audrey Wyatt are from the West Midlands. Warley in the West Midlands. Where's that near sort of near Warhampton? Dudley. 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 <laughs> it's a lovely way. He says it just like Billy Dainty, because he comes from Dudley originally. And what do you do for a living, Bob? Um, state officer, Wolverhampton Corporation. Wolverhampton Corporation. And does that involve collecting rents? Collecting and things rents, like that? things yeah. like that. Chasing arrears. And what do they say to you when people can't afford the rents? I bet they come up with stories too, eh? Well, I don't tell you because I'd all be in with that excuse. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. And Audrey, do you work at all or what? Yes, I work at the same place for Wolverhampton Corporation. Really? Yeah. Dear. And, family, and... family concern. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, well, why not? Why not? I must say. And I mean, you know, when people, you know, don't want to... I mean, are you allergic to all sorts of, uh, you know, any sort of people or, you know... Not you... people, animals. Not animals? Yeah. Dogs. Well, any dogs? You don't like dogs particularly? Well, I'm just allergic to them anyway. I can't really? Get them. Yeah. So anyone with any sense on your rent round should have a dog, yeah? <laughs> good. Make them feel at home, folks, will you? Good luck, good. Have a good time. Have a good time. I know they will. As you know, folks, we start with a quiz, two rounds of questioning, and it's possible, remember, for each couple to win up to a thousand pounds. Let's meet the lady with the questions. Caroline Monroe is here. Caroline. Oh, beautiful. Well then. That is some dress, isn't it? Beautiful dress. Unusual, isn't it? It really is unusual. I mean, look at that. It's this sort of a snake pattern. It's not snake, is it? No, not uh, real. Great, Doesn't beautiful. Doesn't bite. Doesn't bite. No. Let's meet somebody who wants a bite from you. That first couple over here. There we are, Frank. Here's Caroline. <laughs> you wanted to meet Caroline. There you are. Say hello. Okay. hello. <laughs> one of those three envelopes. That's the one you've chosen, Lynn. Good. You know, we like you to answer alternately here, of course. Two ways we can stop you if you make a mistake or run out of time. If you don't know an answer, please say don't know or pass. And it's easy to build up your score that way. But I must emphasize I have to accept the first answer you give me or part of the answer. Okay? Good luck. We let you have one to start with. This question here is about titles of well-known songs from musical shows. We will give you the beginning of the title. We want you to give us the last word. Now, June is busting out all over. It's from Carousel. We'll start you with that one. June is busting out all... Over. Food, glorious. Food. Get me to the church on... Time. If I were a rich... Man. It's never too late to fall in... Love. Put on your Sunday... Pass. The farmer and the... Pass. There is nothing like a... Dame. Old man... River. Getting to know you. Getting to know you is right. That's it. The ones that you passed on there, the farmer and the cowman, of course, yes, yeah, from Oklahoma. And put on your Sunday clothes. That was a song that uh, Michael Crawford did in the film with uh, Barbara Streisand. And not a bad start, though. Eight, right? Eighty pounds you got. Eighty pounds. Well done. Good for you. Here you have it, Chris and Roy. That's the one for you. Good. Good luck to you. Same procedure. And you're holding tight there. Why not, Roy? Go on. <laughs> Your question is the same question. It's about titles of well-known songs from musical shows. We will give you the beginning of the title. We want you to give us the last word. Doing what comes naturally comes from Annie Get Your Gun. We'll start you with that one. Doing what comes... Naturally. Some enchanted... Evening. Diamonds are a girl's best... Friend. I've told every little... Pulse. The Surrey with the fringe on... Top. Baubles, bangles and... Beads. Smoke gets in your... Eyes. The rain in... Spain. Shine on harvest... Pass. Indian love song. No, not far out. Four words. Indian love call. <laughs> Near enough, Jeff. Nice. Shine on harvest moon and the other one I've told every little star. You've done okay. Seven right. Seventy pounds. <laughs> A nice start too. Good. Now, Bob and Audrey. Thanks, Caroline. Last envelope. That means that's the one for you. Same question about titles of well-known songs from musical shows. We will give you the beginning of the title. We want you to give us the last word. Send in the clowns is from A Little Night Music. So that's the one we'll start you with. Send in the... Clown. There's no business like show. Business. I'm going to wash that man right out of my... Hair. Oh, what a beautiful... Morning. Another suitcase, another... Mm -mm. 76. Some bones. People will say we're in... Love. If I ruled the... Well. The hostess with the... Most Mac the knife. Mac the knife is right. The only one you didn't know there was another suitcase, another hall. Song from Evita. I think nine right gives you ninety pounds. Very good. Classic. So, what a good start. And this week we've got Chris and Roy, couple number two on seventy pounds. Couple number one, they have got eighty pounds in the lead at the moment. Are Bob and Audrey? They've got ninety pounds. So Frank and Lynn, Frank and Lynn, wavish from Plymouth this time, going for £80 for each correct answer. One of those three, Lynn, is for you. Good. And good luck to you. Here we are. Question is about words in standard dictionaries which begin with the letters C-H. We will give you a definition. We want you to give us the word. Words beginning with C-H. Now, a small narrow opening is a chink. That's the one we'll start you with. A small narrow opening is a... A chink. A seat for one person. Chair. Small piece of potato. Pass. Person who is paid to drive your car for you. Chauffeur. Sh chief cook in a restaurant. Chef. Everyday word for a helicopter. Chopper. Person who talks too much. 
Chatterbolts. Shop for selling medicines. Chemist. The sound of a bell. Chime. Large group of singers. Choir. Choir. Indeed, we'd have taken chorus as well. The small piece of potato you didn't know. You know what it is? A chip. We all eat them. <laughs> Not bad, though. Look at that. 720 pounds we got. Oh, yeah. Good. OK, Chris. Chris and Roy, they're going for 70 pounds for each correct answer. Again, good luck to you. The question is about words in standard dictionaries which begin with the letters A-N. We will give you a definition. We want you to give us the word. Words beginning with A-N. A shortage of red blood cells is anemia. We'll start you with that one. A shortage of red blood cells is... Anemia. A small insect. Ant. Blacksmith block. Ants. Person who from whom you are descended. Ancestor. A short weatherproof jacket. Ants. A song of national loyalty. Anthem. A collection of poems. Pass. Small salty fish. Pass. A disappointing conclusion. Pass. Scotland's patron saint. Andrew. Andrew was right, yes. <clears throat> a disappointing conclusion, anti-climax was what we wanted, Chris. A small salty fish, anchovy. Mm -hmm. A collection of poems was an anthology and a short weatherproof jacket. Anorak, yeah. And the blacksmith's block was an anvil. So what have we got? Not bad. 350 pounds. 350. Oh, yeah. OK, here's Bob and Audrey from the West Midlands. They're going for 90 pounds for each correct answer. The question is about words in standard dictionaries, which begin with the letters C-E. We give you a definition. You give us the word words, beginning with C-E. A period of truce after a war is a ceasefire. We'll start you with that one. Period of truce after a war is a... Ceasefire. A hundred runs in cricket. Century. Place where the dead are buried. Cemetery. Room for storing wine. Cellar. An upper surface of a room. Pass. Document of proof. Pass. Any material used for filling teeth. Smith. Hundredth part of a dollar. Cent. Person who vows not to marry. Pass. And the spread out middle page of a magazine. Centerfold. Centerfold, yeah. We won't go any <laughs> further, Bob, will we? OK. Person who vows not to marry is celibate. Yes, you know now, don't you? Document of proof, certificate, certificate. the upper surface of a room. Ceiling. Ceiling was what we wanted there. Not bad. 630 pounds you got. 630. So, the two words given to each of our couples this week spelt out C-H-A-N. C.E. Chance, which of course ties in with this week's theme of newcomers. They're certainly going to have a chance, all right. But at the end of our quiz this week, we've got Roy and Chris. They're from Porbra, 350 pounds. We have our couple number three. That's Bob and Audrey, 630 pounds. Winners of the quiz, couple number one up there. That's Lynn and Frank. They've got 720 pounds. So it's a cheerio, but it seems like an eternity, I'm sure, doesn't it, Chris? There we are. It's not bad, though. 350 pounds. There it is. Thank That's right. Much. There's that ceramic dusty bin. Yeah, thank you very there we are. Much. Lovely. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Roy. Take thank care. You. Give them a great round of applause, folks. Chris. <laughs> Lovely. Money, though. Good luck to you. Well, now, it's time for us to go away for the break. We'll be back very, very soon. You'll have a lot more fun on 321. See you in a minute. Here's another observation. Well, you smile as much as you want. Indeed, it's part two of three, two, one. Remember, our theme this week is newcomers. As I said at the top of the show, five great acts will be meeting in a moment or two. You know what happens at the end of each one of our items. One of the acts will come to the table, leave a clue object, and read you a rhyme. When there are three on the table, I'm going to ask both couples to select one to reject if you get through the elimination question where those big prizes and Dusty Bin are waiting for you. OK, let's get on then. And what, way, what a way to get on. Star, indeed star. There's a lady with a song called Man Smart, Woman Smarter. Please welcome Kerry Washington. <laughs> Put man and woman together to see which one is smarter. Some say men, but I say no. The woman's got the man like a puppet show. It ain't me, it's the people that say the men are leading the women 
astray But I say It's the women today They're smarter than the men In every way Well that's right Women are smarter Well that's right Women are smarter Well that's right The women are smarter They're smarter than the men In every way Yeah No one could beat him that we know But when he crossed Delilah, it's been said She pulled out his hair and it fell like lead It ain't me, it's the people that say The men not leading the women astray But I say, it's the women today that's smarter than the men in every way Well, that's right, the women are smarter Well, that's right, the women are smarter Well, that's right as it's smarter than the man in every way A little boy sat down and cried An old man passed and he asked him why He said, I can't do what those big boys do The old man sat down and he cried too Women are smarter, well that's right, those women are smarter, well that's right, the women are smarter, but they're smarter than the men in every way, and me, it's the people that say, the men not leading the women astray, but I say, it's the women today that's smarter than the men in every way, that's right, the women are smarter, well that's right, the women Good number, like that very much. What have you been doing recently? Uh, I was cruising uh, on the Royal Viking ships Where was that? Where San was that? Francisco. Really? Oh, that's a bad place to be, isn't it? I know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like sailing, though. You do, you do like sailing? Yeah. yeah, I like sailors. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, don't we all, but we, but keep it quiet, they'll all want one, you know what I mean? I know, yeah. Where are you going to leave these folks uh, here in the corner? Pea shooter. Pea shooter, Kerry, yes. okay, fine. How about the rhyme? The rhyme is, you could very well be taken in and hear a cover I made, you'll win. No. What do you think? Cover on nature, isn't it? Yes. yes. Duvet Could be bad. Cover. Bad duvet, yes, yes. You yes. have cover on, on a car. Yes. For insurance. And you have cover on a bin. I just thought I'd say that. <laughs> anyway, let's thank Kerry Washington. Kerry, thanks very much indeed. Bye. Take care. Bye bye. That's what you're thinking about so far. No other thoughts. But that's enough for one on the table, isn't it? Okay, folks, let's get on then and have item number two. And we are lucky this time because here's a gentleman who's brought a lot of friends with him. Please welcome Frank Riley. In the 1940s, a young cartoonist brought a newcomer to the screen. His name was Mickey Mouse. And what I'd like to do now is take you through the world of cartoon land with Mickey Mouse and Pluto in the search for Donald Duck. And here comes Mickey Mouse. Come on, Pluto. Let's go and find Donald Duck. See it? You better behave yourself, Pluto, or we won't be going walkies. Let's go and look in the farmyard. Maybe that big rooster over there can help us. Hey there, Foghorn Leghorn. Have you seen Donald Duck anywhere? Are you ass Are you talking to me, boy? <laughs> well, I ass it, ain't seen that boy anywhere. Well, hush my mouth if I do. But you ass it, you can tell him that I'm looking for that boy. Because he ass it, he's going up with my favorite ride, chicken. And when I said, when I get my hands on him, he ass it, he's going to be duck fricassee. <laughs> he looks weird to me, Pluto. Here comes Bugs Bunny. Maybe he can help us. Watch up, Duck. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, do I love carrots? <laughs> Yeah, it's okay you're laughing, Duck, but it's no fun being a rabbit. No, I once went to a barn dance, and I was thrown out for doing a dozy doe in the corner. <laughs> yeah, but 
but he wouldn't able to do something for me, folks. Come on, Pluto, let's go into the woods. Maybe we can get some help there. But before we go in the woods, here comes Goofy. Maybe he can help us. Hey, Goofy, have you seen Donald Duck anywhere? <laughs> no. <laughs> I haven't seen him anywhere. <laughs> yeah, what a waste of time. Let's ask that sailor in the corner. It looks like he's asleep. I'll throw this brick at his head. Hey, you bug that thing at me, I'll hit you right in your head. <laughs> oh, sorry, Popeye. We was just looking for Donald Duck. Let's go into the woods. Maybe we can get some help there. But before we do, we've got to cross this main road, and there's some fast traffic goes along there. Here comes the road runner now. Me, me. <laughs> See, I told you it was dangerous, Pluto. Here's another quick character. It looks like Speedy Gonzalez. <laughs> hey, Speedy, have you seen Donald Duck anywhere? Hang on, senor. But down in the cantina, giving green stamps with tequila, so I must away. Hundale, hundale, arriba, arriba. <laughs> Oh, boy, Pluto, let's slow things down a little. Here comes Yogi Bear. Hey, Yogi. How do you do, Mickey? Hey, Yogi, can we ask you a question? You surely can, because I'm smarter than the average bear. Have you seen Donald Duck anywhere? Oh, no, I ain't, Mickey, but maybe my friend Boo Boo can help you. Hey there, Boo Boo, have you seen Donald Duck anywhere? No, Yogi. Well, there you go when he's smarter than the average bear. Let's go on a little further, Yogi. Let's go down into the Muppet Studio. Maybe they can help us. Hey, there's Animal, the drummer. <laughs> hey, Animal, do you like Donald Duck? Yeah, and I love my drums. Yeah, Animal. Oh, he looks weird to me, Pluto. Here comes Kermit. To introduce our guest star, that's what I'm here to do. He really makes me happy to introduce you, Fuzzy Bear. Oh, thank you, thank you. Say, have you heard the one about the frog who jumped off the top of the Empire State Building? He was trying to commit suicide. Ah, funny, funny. Who oh, get out of here? Leave me alone, you heckless. Come on, Pluto, let's get out of here. I'll just have a rest. <laughs> hey, Pluto. <laughs> I've just found Donald Dutt. He's outside the studios. Hey, Donald, we've been looking all over for you. Where have you been? What? Oh, my God. Don't you know it's my birthday today? Oh, boy, boy, boy. Wouldn't you like to sing happy birthday to me? Well, okay. I'm a birthday to you. I'm a birthday to you. I'm a birthday to you, Mickey. I'm a birthday to you. <laughs> What have you been doing lately? Uh, I've just finished a series of one-nighters. Uh -huh. We started in October and it's just completed. And listen, I'm a, I've heard that voice, or one or two of those voices before, haven't mm -hmm. I? I'm on the adverts, maybe? Television adverts, yeah. 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 The yeah. sort of, uh, I, I can't say what it is, but no. the chimps come into it somewhere. <laughs> yeah? Smash it. Good to have you with us, Frank. And it's what are you nice going to leave as a, as a clue? Uh, it's an orange, the an clue. An orange, OK. And, and the rhyme? Make hay with naught but a lid, so use your loaf, get rid. Mm. <laughs> what do you reckon? Too obvious or too uh, easy? Sounds like the bin. Sounds it's like the bin. The bin's naught's got a lid and the orange has been sucked. Oh. And oh. even with it, you could be a sucker <laughs> if you well, get the bin. Well, thank you. <laughs> get the bin, get your drift, get your meaning. I wonder whether it's right. We'll find out and congratulate Frank Riley. Thank Good you, luck, sir. Frank. Thanks. Good luck. Good luck. You certainly gave us something to think about there. I wonder whether it is what you think it is. What do you think, Frank? I've got a feeling it's the bin, too. Yeah? All right. Well, I'll tell you what, one more on the table, then we've got to make up our minds about what we're going to reject, but I wonder whether you'll change your opinion by then. Let's get on and move the tempo just up a little bit, because now we have for you a reggae band. We have a group of lovely people with beautiful music. The number is called Lazy Day, and the group are called Exile Intact.
something to do with the writing of the song, didn't you? Yes, well, yes, I wrote the lyrics you did? of the song, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, listen, obviously, uh, it's a thing of every group to want to get a record or recording mm -hmm. contract. Mm -hmm. Have you got any luck on that? Yes, well, you? we've had, we've had um, some offers from oh. recording contracts, but what, what, what we're open to offers. Uh -huh. you know what I mean? Well, aren't we all? <laughs> yeah. You can't say that. We're still truer open. than that. <laughs> Lovely. Well, good luck to you. Right, good thanks. band, good sound. What are you going to leave these folks here as a clue? Face, face powder. Face powder? Yeah. Okay. And, and how about the rhyme? To help keep the surface neat, this laser circle at your feet. Yeah. Mm. To help keep this laser circle at your feet. Make it like a camouflage. <laughs> <laughs> well, to help keep the surface neat, this laser circle at your feet. He's mm. laid something at our feet. Nobody knows what's going on. <laughs> no. We're going to thank Paulette. Right, Exile thanks. intact, and good luck okay. to the group. Thank you, Paulette. <laughs> Any idea about that one, Frank? Lynn? Some Such form of. Nice uh huh. How about you, Audrey? What do you think? Oh, not a lot. No, no. <laughs> well, I can read both the others again now. We had three on the table. First one was brought in. Remember, the pea shooter was brought in number one item by Kerry Washington. Kerry said, "You could very well be taken in, and here a cover I made. You'll win." Now, is that any clearer now? Yeah. It's a bit different to what you first thought, maybe. I think that's camera equipment. Oh dear. Yes. Oh great. Yes. yes. All, all unanimous here. Yeah, this is a and shooter. And the orange brought in by Frank Riley. Frank said, May, make hay with naught but a lid, so use your loaf, get rid. Now, OK, you heard the three? <laughs> Difficult, huh? Difficult, that one. Make hay while the sun shines. Mm -hmm. So it, it could be a holiday. Mm -hmm. But, but what did you say earlier on about the somebody's had a go at the orange or something? That's right. If you take the O from orange, it yes. makes rain, so it could be a range of kitchen equipment. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a holiday the in the rain. Holiday, you know? holiday on the range. <laughs> anyway, look, you've got to choose one you're going to get rid of if you get through the elimination question. So what do you think, Leah? Oh, that one That's the one you want to get rid of? I think so, yes. Even though you, you can't yeah. remember much about it. <laughs> Okay, you want to get rid of the face powder? Yes, please. Yes. All right, how about Bob and not Audrey? Shooter. You'll get rid of the pea shooter. Yes? Yeah. yeah. All right, that we've established. Good luck to you. Here's the elimination question here. I'm going to start reading this. Put your hands beside the button. Each week the couples go... <laughs> <laughs> you can do that as often as you want. I'm going to start to read. As you know, when you think you know the answer, hit the button and answer. If you answer before hitting the button, I have to offer it to the other couple. Of course, if they're wrong, I'll continue reading. But good luck to you. Here it is. This is a city in America. It is a port at the mouth of the Hudson River. 
Yes, Audrey New York. New York, she's got it, yeah, she took a chance. Well done, Audrey. <laughs> oh, my. Listen to this. Oh, she can't believe it, huh? Oh, dear. You, you hit that with some venom, too, didn't you, Audrey? Wow. Well, that's it. It's, that's the game. It's, it's, a, it's a question. You just have to take a chance. You took a chance, and you're through. And we have to say goodbye to Frank and Lynn, of course. But uh, Caroline's here with the money you won in the quiz. Caroline, how much was that? Done very well. 720 pounds. 720 pounds, folks. Oh, yeah. There's that. That ceramic dusty bin. And little Frank. If you'd just like to take a little look across there, because Kerry Washington has a consolation prize for you. It's a very flat, small, portable television. Oh. How about that? I think it's a lovely prize. Thank you. Good luck to you. Right. Congratulations. Give them a round of applause, folks. Lovely people. Thanks very much indeed. Good luck. Wow. Not bad, huh? But this is where it really starts now, Audrey. How do you feel now? Uh, you're up there a bit, aren't you? <laughs> well, well, you're through with the chance, hopefully, of taking home a great prize or, of course, the booby. That's what you've really got to start thinking about. Dusty Bin, if I remember rightly, you've got rid of the pea shooter? That's right. That's <laughs> it. We'll be back after the break and find out exactly what they have rejected. See you in a minute. Bang, bang. <laughs> Here's a showtime... This week is newcomers, and we've got Bob and Audrey Wyatt from Worley, West Midlands. One through with the chance to take home a good prize tonight, and they've rejected at the end of part two the pea shooter, right? Pea shooter brought in by Kerry Washington, number one item. What do you think? We know what you hope. You think it is? Let's have a look. You could very well be taken in, and here a cover I made, you'll win, is what she said. Okay, let's have a look. Kerry brought you in the pea shooter and said you could very well be taken in. Well, does taken in mean deceived, or could it have some other meaning? Perhaps with the shooter connection, you're being sh taken with a camera. And here, a cover I made, you'll win. A cover I made is what you'd win, because it's an anagram of video camera. In fact, the very latest in compact portable video systems, a lightweight camera with a motorized zoom powered by a rechargeable batteries together with its own coloring monitor. Look at this. That's right, Audrey. It's not really the bin, is it? Bob's already pointed to this straight away. Not really the bin. A fabulous prize. I think we'd all like one of those, huh? Thank you, Caroline. It has to go. Take it away, please. Thank you. Well, there we are. As you say, not dusty bin. That's what we've got to think about getting rid of. We're now going to go on to have item number four. And here's a young man. Not only is he a singer, a multi-instrumentalist. What a difference a day makes for Graham York.
Alan. This is the drums, the vibes. What else do you play? Um, keyboards. Keyboards, as opposed to piano. Now, what is the difference? I mean, I know what a piano is, I know what keyboard. What is it like musically? What's the um, difference there? Music, musically, that's, that's how to say it's the actual synthetic sound uh -huh. of, of a musical instrument it's... rather than the acoustic tone. I love the way you said sound. <laughs> Where do you come from? Bury. Bury. <laughs> Bolton, Bury, and Blackburn. Lovely. <laughs> Smashing. Well, good luck. Are you on any one night stands and doing concerts and stuff? Yes, right? yes. Hotels. Everyone's very busy, which is nice to see. And glad you dropped in with us here on 321. What are you going to leave them as a clue here? I'll leave you an all. An all? Oh, an all. Mm -hmm. Okay. And how about the rhyme? The rhyme is all or nothing here for you. I did it my way, and you can too. <sighs> oh. Not a great deal. There's a titter running through the audience. It's keeping on running. It's going right out the studio, actually. <laughs> but we're going to take that and thank Graham York and good luck and congratulations. Good luck with everything, Graham. Yeah. Graham York, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Graham. It doesn't sound anything like the bin, that's for sure. <laughs> no, do any of them make, sound um, anything like the bin? Make holes with an all, but yeah. it doesn't really help me. <laughs> I'm trying no. to hold. Hold well, all or nothing. Uh -huh. Well, you can hear the orange again or the cold. face powder. Which one of those two would you like to hear? The face powder. Face, yeah? powder. face, face powder, powder, which was brought in by Paulette of Exile Intact. Paulette said, to help you keep the surface neat, this laser circle at your feet. Oh, 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 oh. Um, oh. <laughs> vacuum cleaner. Oh. I'd like to put on a vacuum cleaner. Uh -huh. Well, I thought it was a car. I, 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 I don't know. Is there an something it's small and compact? We might give you something yeah, more than the vacuum small cleaner. Small and compact, yes. <laughs> yeah. Small oh. Audience, what do you think? Oh, the oh the orange. Oh yeah. dear, they don't care. They. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so what are you going to do? The orange. Yeah, the orange. The orange. Unanimous yes, about we'll that. Do it, yeah. Okay, Bob, Audrey, you're going to get rid of the orange. Brought in by Frank Riley. He said, "Make hay with naught but a lid. Hold him tight. <laughs> so use your loaf. Get rid. Now then." Have you used your loaf to get rid? Frank brought you in the squeezed orange, which might have made you think of the bin. Indeed, it did, as well as other things. He said, make hay with naught but a lid. Earlier on, you said, make hay while the sun shines. Well, that is the old saying. And you could have used hay with a naught or o with a lid to make holiday, as you suggested. Use your loaf, get rid. That would have told you where. Loaf and rid give you the orange state, famous for orange oh, juice. No. Florida, United States. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, I've always wanted to go to America. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Oh. A scheduled flight from Heathrow to Miami, Florida, and from then on, the choice was up to you because we'd arranged a car to take you wherever you wanted to go. If you're tired of the beaches, perhaps you'd like a relaxing stroll through the gardens, or if you're really feeling more energetic, you might decide on some canoeing at Everglades. We'd also arranged a day for you at Disney World's Magic Kingdom, including a tour of the famous fairy tale Cinderella Castle, and an excursion to the new Disney World Epcot Center. All of this, a fabulous 321 holiday to Florida. Oh dear, fabulous prize, as always here on 321, it's gone. And now we have two, we're gonna have the final item on the table after our next act. And here we have a young man with a lot of talent, a very funny person, comes all the way from Scotland. Please welcome Dean Park. Good evening. Good evening. It's marvellous to be here tonight. I've come all the way from Glasgow to be here with you tonight. It's marvellous being here, as I say. And uh, I travel quite a lot in this job with an act like mine. I've got to. And um, <laughs> oh yes, I do. Actually, last year I was all over the world, and this year I'm going somewhere else. And I have a map. <laughs> Stop it. I have a marvellous time, you know. Actually, last year I went to America. I went with that ear fungus. Do you know them? <laughs> do you know the ones with outside toilets? You know? <laughs> A funny thing, you know, a funny thing happened at the airport. I was sitting at the airport looking at the plane and someone took the steps away and the plane fell on its side. <laughs> I met the pilot, Pontius. I said, I said, excuse me, Mr. Pontius. I says, how often do these planes crash? He said, just once. <laughs> I'm sitting in my seat on the plane and a woman's voice came on the tannoy. She said, if you'd like to be sick, Please use the bag in front of you. <laughs> I didn't even know the woman. I was like, hello, hello. I'm not. What about the big American? What about the big American driving his Cadillac lorry through Inverness? And he sees this wee Scottish farmer in the field and he shouts into the field, he shouts over, he goes, Hey, Jack, what are you doing there, Jack? 
The wee farmer said, I'm picking my potatoes. I'm picking my potatoes. This is me that's doing the voices, by the way. I'm picking my potatoes. He says, man, he says, back in America, he says, we've got potatoes that size. I says, I bet Sonny said, we grow these to fit our mouths. <laughs> Super. Thank you. Marvellous. What a marvellous crowd. A very happy crowd here tonight because a lot of people are not happy at the moment because nobody's working, you know. And I was in my local bar last week and I'm standing at the bar and my wee friend came in and he's not got a job. Aww. Oh, it was worse than that. Aww. And I'm standing at the bar. I said, what's wrong with you? He said, I've been for a new television and a video and I can't get one. I said, why not? He said, because I've not got a job. I said, you daft bat. Or words like that. I said... <laughs> You don't tell them you've not got a job. You go in there and you tell them you've got a new job, £180 a week. Your wife works in the ASDA, £90 a week. Your two big daughters are in Boots of Chemist and your wee boy's only 10. He's got a milk round. That's what you tell them. He said, well, it work. He said, go and try it. So he goes into the, the radio rentals. He says, could I have a new television and a video, please? The man said, have you got a job? He said, have I got a job? £180 a week, my job. My wife's in the ASDA, £90 a week. My two big daughters are in Boots of Chemist. My wee boy's only 10. He's got a milk round. The man said, that's very good. He says, well, you just sign these forms. So he signs the forms. He says, now, we'll send round one of our representatives tomorrow. He said, no problem. So he went home that night. He's sitting down at the table with all his children. He said, now, listen, we've got a new television and a video coming tomorrow. And I've told the man that I've got a job of £190 a week. Your mother's in the ASDA £90 a week. The two big girls there are in Boots of Chemists. And you, wee man, because you'll be the one that'll be in. You've got a milk round. The wee boy said, no problem. So the next day, a knock came to the door. The wee boy opened the door, the man said, is your daddy in? He said, no, no, my daddy's here, he's worked £180 a week. <laughs> my mummy's in the Asda, £90 a week. My two big sisters are in Boots the Chemist and see me. I've got a milk round, the man said, that's very good. He said, will you tell your father the social security man was here? <laughs> Thank you, good night. Thank you. Everyone on the show tonight's busy, or the one nighters and seasons. Are you doing a season this year? Season in air. 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 Well, heads uh, of air. The heads of air. Yes. And uh, about a holiday camp there. Oh, the ones with the red blazers. Yes, I've, I've played a few one nights there. One, one mornings there. Used to go on at one o'clock in the morning. <laughs> yeah, the midnight cabaret. Roy Wicks, the, Roy manager. Wicks, the manager. Give Roy a big mention. You'll have yeah. a good time. I thoroughly enjoy it. What are you yeah, going to give these folks as the clue? Here? Well, I've got a carbine. Carbine is the clue. Carbine. Right? And what's the rhyme? And the, the rhyme says, "Throw care to the winds, but how you can drive it away right now." There you have it. The last one on the table. So take care from carbine. It leaves bin. Oh dear. Take <laughs> Everyone's been the bin and tonight. You we're shoot yourself if you win it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether we got a bullet there, but we're going to thank Dean Park. Good Thanks luck. Very much. Good luck, everyone. Have a good season. Man. Well, you jumped pretty quickly onto that one, Bob. What do you think? You can hear one of the other two again, remember? The face powder or the ore? The face powder. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, they're only going to hear it. Mm -hmm. They haven't made the decision yet. Eh? Can you can only hear one of these two. Yeah, can we hear that you one? You can hear the face powder. No, 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 no. Face powder was brought in by Paulette from Exile Intact to help you keep the surface neat, this laser circle, at your feet, is what she said. Something to do with Something to do with cleaning. Well, we have three on the table. We do know that one of them is that dreaded booby. Yes, Dusty bin is yeah. there. We think Which that's one? the bin. What? The carbine. Throw carbon. care to the wind. So yeah. Throw care carbine. Away from carbine. Yeah. Care leaves bin. Yeah. yeah. And I, I know. And <laughs> if there's a bullet, <laughs> shoot yourself. Yeah. Yes, definitely. Yeah, you said that. <laughs> well, is that the one that's going to go away? Yes. 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 Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, because you were so good on the holiday, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> so is that okay? This one's yes. going. OK, audience, you're rejecting the carbine. <laughs> this was brought in just now by Dean Park, item number five. Throw care to the winds, but how? You can drive it away right now. Let's see what it says here. OK, the carbine. Throw care to the winds right now. Had you thrown care from carbine? Indeed, as you were suggesting, you've done it, Dusty Bing! Yeah! <laughs> Thank you.
Audrey, there you are. Bullet in there or not, you don't have to shoot yourself anymore. <laughs> I know. I so... missed anyway. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> so, look, we got two, and I can read both of these again, remember? Mm, please, okay, yeah. what was this? This was item number four. Let's try something. That was three, wasn't it? Yes, Paulette brought this in. Item number three from Exile Intact. She says, to help you keep the surface neat, this laser circle at your feet. That's what she said. And the all brought in by Graham York, item number four. All or nothing here for you. I did it my way, and you can too. So? We think that's do-it-yourself do it equipment. Yeah. You do it my way. I see. And but we don't know cleaning. what this is. And that could be cleaning. So it's one for each of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. I, now right. you've got rid of the bin. I wish you could have one each. You can only have one. They're both super prizes. It's up to you, Bob. And you want to, what do you say? You want to keep that or reject no, it? No, we'll reject that. <laughs> so is that going to go, is it? Yeah. yeah yes, go. right, OK. The all is going to be rejected, brought in by Graham York. Item number four. All or nothing here for you. I did it my way. You can too. All or nothing here for you. Well, Graham brought you in the all, so this is not nothing. I did it my way and you can too. Graham did it all himself, singing, drums and vibes. Yes, you could have done it your way. DIY equipment, you've done it in one go. Look at this. Take a look at that. All the DIY equipment you could ever want there, Bob. Fabulous prize, Caroline. I'm afraid it has to go. Thank you. Take it away, please. What a prize, huh? So, to write the prize, you're yeah, going home with tonight. Face powder brought in item number three by Paulette from Exile in Tag. She says, to help you keep the surface neat, this laser circle at your feet. So you think it's something to do with the carpet? A carpet or cleaning or whatever. Okay. Face powder that Paulette brought you in may have reminded you of dust. Uh, to help you keep the surface neat, may have added, added to that, but the powder was brought in in a compact. And that was added to this. This laser circle at your feet. Laser circle might have made you think of laser disc or even a compact disc where the surface is kept more than neat. In fact, this compact disc player system with integrated amplifier, the, the latest in hi-fi systems. Bob Audrey, wait you see this. It's fabulous. <laughs> Laser disc systems, an absolutely fabulous prize. It really is terrific. But remember, you've also got money you won in the quiz. I think Kerry Washington has that. She does. Kerry, how much was it? £630. £630, ladies and gentlemen. There it is, too. Audrey, that's for you. Bob, congratulations. All the very best. Audrey, good luck. Super couple, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to say good, good luck to all the newcomers appearing on our show this week. And until we see you next Saturday, take care. Have a good week. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye.